Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to teleport the player using a script, which can be useful for making like a teleport UI or whatever. So, yeah, sorry, not another series of Superpower Train Simulator. Home um, series, I just said series and twice. Okay, well, let's get started. So, in this case, I'm gonna make it a button that we click in Screen UI to teleport us. You can make this like when you touch a part or pretty much whatever you want. So, I'm, but I'm gonna make it a button. So, there's a simple way to do this. Well, both ways are simple. But one way you can place a part and put this part where you want to teleport to, and then just make this part like a little node. So, you can, and you can make this part. Or, or you can make this part where you want to teleport to or you can copy the position of the part and straight up teleport the player to the position of the part or to the position that you copied but I'm just going to show you how to do it with the part that uh, that you'll teleport to so put your part you can name it whatever you want I'm just going to name it teleport part because well that makes the most sense to me anyways so I'm going to just disable collision you might want to disable can collide if you're doing it this way but now in started as you want I'm going to insert a frame by pressing the plus and then inside the f or not a frame a screen GUI and then that screen GUI and then insert a frame by pressing actually let's just do text button let's not make it that fancy inside a screen GUI I'm going to press the plus and insert a text button I'm just going to move this down I'm going to make this text say or zone one. Actually, I'm gonna duplicate this, and I'm gonna put two buttons. One is gonna be zone one, and another is gonna be zone two. Just for demonstration that it kind of works. So this one I'm gonna rename to zone zone one. So zone one is gonna be green. And then zone 2 is going to be like over here. Zone 2 is going to be pink. Because why not? So I made two nodes at each place that I want the player to teleport to. One green and the other one is pink. So in the zone 1 button, I'm going to insert a local script. Now we're going to get when the button is pressed. So script up here and mouse button one clicked. Connect function. So it's pretty much when mouse button one clicked, which is right mouse button is clicked, or I mean left mouse button, not right, my bad. Once it's clicked, or, or you click on the button, then it's going to do whatever is in between these lines. So we're going to be setting the C frame of the player. C frame stands for coordinate frames, and you know if you know what a coordinate is, it's pretty much the definite location of an object pretty much like how, how would I explain this a graph I don't have a picture of a plot graph but it's just like pointing graphs on a plot like X equals 2 and Y equals 4 and stuff like that the position is just X and Y and that's pretty much what a C frame is it's just the position it's the same thing as that pretty much so we're gonna do game dot players dot local player dot character dot humanoid root part dot c frame equals c frame dot new game dot workspace dot zone one dot position so this is gonna get the local player which is pretty much the, the um, player that the ui is in or just pretty much just the player is clicking the button and you can say now we're gonna get their character and now the human root part, it's pretty much this invisible part inside of the character that's their root, that's their centerpiece. Yeah, yeah it's pretty self-explanatory. And then we're going to set its coordinate frame to a new coordinate frame with cframe.new. And then we're going to set it to game.workspace.zone1's position. So I'm just going to duplicate this script and put it in zone 2. And then I'm just going to change the ending here to zone 2 dot position. And now let's just give it a quick test. Let me just load up the game real quick. Alright. So if we 
press on zone 1 as you can see it teleports our humanoid root part to zone 1 and then zone 2 teleports us to zone 2 you can tell by the color of the part that the location is changing just like this and just to show you what, where the humanoid root part is if we go into my character humanoid root part it's pretty much yeah it's just this invisible part you could just like make it bigger I don't know do things with it I guess now my root parts over there oh um, I guess it's also the part that the camera follows since it does seem to be following the camera or the camera seems to be following that hmm. well that's interesting and if we remove it we just fall over so that's necessary so that's how you teleport the player using the script now I can show you how to do it when you touch a part so we can remove our UI so let's add a part a pink one for zone 1 and let's add another one and this green one is going to be for zone 2 I'm just going to copy I mean no the green one is for zone 1 and the pink one is for zone 2 so in this part I'm going to insert a script and I'm going to do script.parent.touched connect function hit so this is going to get when the parent is touched and we're going to pass hit hit is just going to call whatever's touched it and we're going to do local player equals game get service players get oops my get player from character hit dot parent so this is how we're going to get player in the script since in a regular script you cannot get local player so we're making a variable called player we're getting a service in the game called players and we're going to get the player from character hit so if the player's leg touches the part, then the parent of the leg is the character. So we're going to be getting the player from the character. So any part that touches the player or that the player touches the part with, we're going to get the parent of that to get the, char the character. Now we're going to make sure it is the player that actually touched it. Because let's say another part touches this part then we don't want to try and teleport that part to the location of zone 1 we just want to teleport the player if the player is the one that touched it so now similar to our last script in here we're going to do player.character.humanoid.rootpart.cframe or coordinate frame equals cframe.new game.workspace.zone1.position and then we can duplicate the script Put this into our other one and we can just go here and change zone 1 to 2 and then let's quickly test this out should work or it's going to give an error and then I have to fix things yep as you can see I touch the green part and it teleport me to the green part we just walk back over here as you can see green part touch it and I go to the green part now let me just quickly run over to the pink part and once I touch it, teleports me to the pink part. This can be useful for like teleporting teleporters or those teleport UIs with a list of zones that you need a requirement to get to and such. So hopefully this video helped you and that's how you teleport the player. Bye.